you all to the second part of the video lesson on the Saffir's treasure. Today we will do questions and answers. Here are certain questions for you from CBSE Voxit. Question number one What led the king of Iran to the cave of the Saffir? That means why did the king of Iran go to the cab of the Safford? Question number two. What changes were seen in the Safford after he became the governor of a small province? Any change came to him after he became governor of a small district? No, there was no change. He was still humble and generous like before. Question number three, why did the Sefer never go to school? Because there were very few schools in those days. Why were the people astonished when the chest was opened? Why were the people surprised? Why were the people surprised? They actually expected their, that uh, the iron chest contained some treasure, some money, but to their surprise, the iron chest contained only an ordinary old blanket. Question number five. How did the poor Safford become famous in the story, the Safford's treasure? He became famous for his generosity, his kindness. Okay, he helped others in every possible manner. Even after becoming governor, he did not, did not lose his humble nature. Okay, his uh, popularity spread more and more. What did the governors of other provinces think about the chest that the new governor carried with him in the story, the Sapphire's treasure? The governor of other, other provinces thought that uh, uh, the iron chest contained uh, some share of the tax that he collected, some treasure, some money, but that was uh, not actually. Who visited the Sefford one day and why? Who visited the Sefford one day? The king visited the Sefford one day because he heard about the generosity and uh, uh, humble nature and wisdom of the Sefford. Was the Sefford worthy of being rewarded twice in the story? Why? Give your answer accurately. He was rewarded twice. First, he was made uh, governor of a small district. And at last, he was made the governor of a much bigger district. Uh, let's uh, do the questions uh, you have to write the answers to these questions in your notebooks see the answers also question number one what led the king of iran to the cave of the Safford? we discussed already see the answer here the stories of the wisdom and friendly nature of the Safford led the king of iran to his cave i think all of you have understood question number two what changes were seen in the Safford after he became the governor of a small province? Answer. There was no change in the Safford's behavior even after he became the governor of a small province. He was still as humble as ever. Question number three. Why did the Safford never go to school? why he was illiterate, illiterate the answer is the Sefford never went to school because there were very few school in those days let's go to question number four why were the people astonished or surprised when the chest was opened uh, when the chest was opened the people were astonished or surprised to see that it contained not the secretly collected treasure but only an old 
blanket. Question number five. How did the poor Safford became famous in the story The Safford's Treasure? Answer. The Safford, though poor, was very wise. He could understand people's sorrows and troubles. He helped them to face them wisely with courage. Thus, he became famous for his wise and friendly nature. Let's go to question number six. What did the governors of other provinces think about the chest that the new governor carried with him in the story, the Sapphire's treasure? Answer. The governor of other states or provinces were suspicious and jealous of the Sapphire. They thought that he had hoarded a lot of money which he must have dishonestly stolen from the taxes collected from the people. The chest contained this secretly collected treasure. They thought that uh, the iron chest contained uh, secretly collected treasure but they were proved wrong question number seven who visited the Sefford one day and why the king of Iran the country where the Sefford lived heard about the Sefford's wisdom so he disguised as a Sefford and riding on a mule visited the Sefford one day all the poor and uneducated, the Sefford was very wise and understood people's worries and troubles and helped them face them with courage and common sense. The king heard about him and therefore wanted to meet the Sefford who had become so famous for his wisdom and friendly nature among the common people. Last question, question number eight. Was the Sefford worthy of being rewarded twice in the story? Why? Give your reasons. Give your answers accurately. Answer. Yes, the Sefford was worthy of being rewarded twice. First, the king was impressed by the Sefford's goodness and wisdom when he visited his cave and met him the governor of a small district because he was glad about him. Secondly, when the king was doubtful about the Sefford's honesty after hearing false stories about him, he asked the Sefford the reason behind carrying an iron chest or iron box always. Hearing it, the Sefford replied in a humble way that the box contained the blanket which was his oldest friend. The blanket could, would protect him at any time. The king was pleased to hear the Sefford's reply. Being impressed with his honesty, he made him the governor of a much bigger district. Thus, the king's action was justified. That is all about the questions. Now, dear students, you have to write the answers to these questions. In your own words apart from these questions you have to do the questions uh, which are given in your textbook and uh, send it to my whatsapp number i hope all of you have understood uh, the answers to this question with this thank you and uh, have